Hi everybody and welcome back to another Sailor Moon review. Today I have the Tamashi Buddies and I have the first five and these are the outers in that series. First we'll start out with Uranus here and all the boxes are pretty much the same. They kind of remind me of Funko Pop boxes to be honest, the way they're kind of designed. And as, as you can see, in case you have not never seen these before, these do stack like this. Or you can leave off the front beams and put them side by side like this. So there's a little bit of an option. These are really rather not heavy figures, so they do have some ability to fall over. If you stack them too high and put too many figures on top of one another. But you definitely can tower every one of these if you wanted to. And they do kind of look cool because of that feature. And then of course you do have the backboard that has the design in the back to represent each character. So even though the designs and the poses for these are rather simple, they do have a lot of display abilities which make them kind of special. It does have this Toei sticker at the bottom here, but it is the English on here to show that it's an international release. These are by Tamashi Nations and Bendai, so these are 100% official figures. So I'll show you Neptune, and she's really pretty. Her molding for her hair looks nice. Can't wait to open these and see them a little bit better, but just give you a little look at the boxes like I usually do. And then Pluto. And she looks pretty fabulous. The paint jobs are very symbolized on these as well. They do have metallic paint on the tiaras and all that. But and they, uh, here on the back of this one you actually see all four of them together. And these do have numbers representing just like pop figures. It's very similar to pop figures with that as well. But and Saturn looks pretty nice too in her box. It's always this version of Saturn, which is a lot of people's favorite. Not too much supers stuff stuff just yet, but eventually. So we'll get these open and we'll take a better look at each one. Okay, so here is all the parts that you get with each figure. You get the figure itself, you get a backboard display, you get four long pieces, which are these long pieces here. And they just go on the front and in the back to hold the backboard. You also get a smaller little piece that goes on top, and that completes the figure. My only problem is when I was opening these, I am missing the small piece, this little piece here, the little top piece, for Pluto. They didn't give me one, so I didn't even notice that in the box because inside her box it was very, very dark because her hair is dark, her costume is dark. So I just did not notice. So I will have to reorder another one. But for this review, so you guys can fully see what these figures look like, I'm going to borrow one from my other set of figures and I can fully show you how to assemble each one of these and how they look. So if you do buy these figures, I guess definitely examine each one of them. Make sure you have all the parts required and you might even consider buying these locally since they do have an international release to make sure that you do get a completed figure. Let's take a look at these figures a little better. I'll go ahead and show you what they look like before I assemble these and then you guys can see them a little bit better because with that backboard and everything you can't see the backs of these figures at all. Now I will say right away that the paint jobs are not great on these. There's a close-up of the paint job on the bow. It's not very good. Her face is pretty though. The details on her tiara look okay. She does have her one earring. But yeah, there's little odds and ends that might be able to be cleaned up with magic eraser, but I'm not sure. 
paint smudges and stuff usually don't come off though. But Uranus looks good. I don't see anything wrong with her at all. Now there is some little things here and there, but stuff like that really doesn't bother me too much. It's just usually stuff like this. It's kind of a little bit more noticeable. But yeah, not perfect, but I don't really mind it too much. So here is Neptune. And you can definitely tell the white mixing in with her skirt here is kind of noticeable. They did take all the necessary details for her collar up here. It does have her medallion on it. Her hair doesn't look very good right here. Look at all this. I'm going to see if I can get that off though with a magic eraser. I've gotten lots of pop figures and pop figures are definitely known for having really bad paint jobs a lot of times. But some of it is transferred. And you can usually get it off with a magic eraser. So I'm definitely going to try that with these. But I really love her face. Her face is very cute. Her expression's nice. You, they do have some indent into her mouth. Her mouth definitely looks open. And there's the back of her. Her hair looks really nice. Other than the paint job on these, I'm not seeing anything too bad, but I'm going to try to fix that and see if I can make that look a little better. And here is Pluto. Pluto has a nicer painted costume all around. I can definitely tell that right off the bat. Even her like paint on her earrings and everything. I like that kind of metallic paint they use. Her hair is really nice as well. It does have that green tint to it. Very natural for her. Yeah, she looks pretty nice. So Pluto is pretty fantastic. So let's see Saturn. She does have her earrings. Her paint is not great here, which is kind of typical with these, it seems. They didn't paint in the laces white, which is kind of a missed opportunity on that. And the back of her looks okay. She does have a purple tint to her hair, so it's not naturally black little spot up here but that comes off sometimes some of the things that you see on these figures or any vinyl figures really is you'll see little paint chips and stuff that usually can be brushed away but her sleeves look really fantastic as well so the overall thoughts on the paint jobs are kind of 50 50 these two over here were the worst ones but Pluto and Saturn weren't too bad so I'll show you how to assemble one of these and then I'll go ahead and quickly assemble all four. But we have the pieces here and they just kind of connect like the top ones. It's a special way these go on too. You got to make sure that they go on the correct way. So I'm going to see if how well I can remember how to do this because the bottoms are different than the tops. So there's that one. The card goes in. Sometimes you can assemble the card first, but I always try to assemble it like this. And then put the top on. That's pretty much it. So there it is with the backboard. Now these extra two pieces of course are if you want to stack uh, one of the figures on top of her so that it has proper balance. But of course you don't necessarily have to do that. I think she looks fabulous this way and the design of the backboard looks lovely in front of her or behind her I mean. So yeah pretty fa fabulous. I like it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just assemble all the rest of these and then I'll show you them after that.
All right, so here they all are together. As you can see, the colors are fabulous on these. I think they look really nice. I'll put them a little closer together like this if you wanted to. Lots of bright colors. The backgrounds really complete each figure. Makes them stand out quite a lot. I did, uh, like before, you can print out your own backgrounds. And these are the ones that I chose this time around. And uh, the first set that came out, they actually made custom backgrounds online that you could print out. But they didn't do that for these for some reason. I was really hoping that they would, but they never did. So I actually made my own. And I'll kind of explain to you how I did this. But I basically just took one of the other backboards and traced how big it would need to be. And then cut them out accordingly. It was pretty easy. You can definitely do this at home. You don't need anything special other than probably this uh, cardstock paper. And this is like greeting card paper you can find pretty much anywhere. And it makes them a little bit more capable to be in the back. So you don't have to uh, use anything flimsy and they're going to fall out really easily or anything. These will stay perfectly. Now I chose these and this is some rose petals. And this is a connecting picture but I don't know how well these will connect. <laughs> Once I put them in the, the back, you probably won't even notice that they connect. But it was one giant picture. And then the other ones is the Crystal Tokyo Palace. This is just to kind of show you that you can make your own personal backgrounds if you want to do that. But I'm going to put these backgrounds in and show you what they look like with something different behind them. All right, so here they all are with the rose petal background. If you watch the anime enough, you know that the rose petals are a big part of the outer's intros and stuff. So I thought they would look pretty cool with rose petal designs, especially these two. That is background number one, but I'll go ahead and show you what the uh, Crystal Tokyo one would look like real quick. And we'll decide which one looks the best. So here is the final design. It's Crystal Tokyo and it looks pretty fabulous. I really do like this design a lot. I think it works well with them. My only complaint would be that I wish Chibi Moon was a part of the set. Maybe they'll make her later on. Maybe even Tuxedo Mask. I don't know. But I think she would work really well with the outers in this particular scene and background. But I think I really like it. I don't know if I like it more than the Rose Petal one though. I don't know, let me know in the comments, guys, which one you like the best. I also definitely like the originals that came with these. They're glossy and stuff. Mine are a little glossy because I use one of those really fancy printers. But if you make these at home, most likely they're going to be more of a matte, not so glossy uh, image. But I'm going to show you guys, too, how these stack. Just in case you are wondering how that works. But it's pretty simple. You just put the extra pegs that you have or extra little stands that you have. And you have to take the backboard top off of the one you want to put underneath. And just put this one on top like so. And there are little pegs underneath here. So then you can just line these up. And there you go. You just stack it just like that. And I think it works really well as a stacked figure set. But I think that I, I like them a lot better just laying side by side. Especially when you use these particular backboards. But of course if you use the originals that works better with being stacked. But I still really, really like these figures a lot. I think they they run pretty well at, in price range. I think these are only about $12. I think I paid around 11 though, on Amazon. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think of these. And if you have any extra ideas for backgrounds, because I'm always up for that. But I appreciate you guys checking out my video today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, bye!